you need a new keyboard. Here's why. Computer keyboards are some of the most poorly designed tools in the modern era. Take a look at this keyboard. Notice how each row of keys is staggered? This makes a lot of sense when I place my right hand on the keyboard. The staggered rows cause the keys to line up with the angle of my arm and the movement of my fingers. But look at my left hand. My left hand mirrors my right, but the stagger of the keys doesn't. Now I have to do this awkward backwards reaching motion with my left hand to hit the keys I want to type. Your fingers were not made to bend like this. If you hold your hand out in front of you and open and close your fingers, you'll see how your fingers were made to move. Not in a side to side motion, but straight up and down. Unfortunately, that's not all that's wrong with this thing. If you're someone who frequently uses the arrow keys or numpad, look at how much your hand has to travel to find those keys. Then, once you're done, you've got to come all the way back to your home row. All this repetitive motion throughout the day is not only inefficient, but can also cause fatigue. So let's fix both these issues. What just happened? It looks like we lost half our keyboard. Well, that solves the problem of waving your hands all over the place. But what do we do about all those missing keys? We'll get to that in a second. First, check out the new layout of these keys. Now I can simply move my fingers up and down in a natural motion instead of having to contort them side to side. So what about those missing keys? We haven't actually lost them. We've simply moved them onto another layer of our keyboard. What's a layer, you ask? Layers are the superpower of custom keyboards. And believe it or not, you're already an expert on layers. Here's your awful keyboard again. If I press this key, I get a lowercase f. If I press this key, I get a number 4. Lowercase letters and numbers are on my base layer, which we can call layer 1. But what if I want a capital letter? Or what if I want to type a symbol? I simply hold down the shift key to switch to layer 2. Layer 2 contains my capital letters, and it also contains my symbols. Instead of a number row, I now have a symbol row. Instead of lowercase letters, I now have capital letters. All you're doing when you hold down the shift key is switching between layer 1 and layer 2 to find the keys that you need. To put it simply, layers allow us to map different outputs to a single key, which allows us to type on smaller keyboards without losing any of the keys we need. While having two or even three layers is great, imagine what you could do with four, five, or even 20. Let's just stick with four for a simple demonstration. Here's our little keyboard again. If I hold down shift, I go into layer two and I get my capital letters. Holding this key down gets me arrow keys and this key, my number row and function keys. Now this is just the default layout of this keyboard. All our keyboards are completely customizable with a few simple clicks. Anyone can create their own key layout without any technical knowledge whatsoever. So we've solved a couple of issues, but now let's make things more comfortable. Take a look at my wrists. My arms are bent in towards the keyboard, but then my wrists have to bend out to compensate. This feels super unnatural when you stop to think about it. So let's split this thing down the middle. Now we can angle and spread these two halves out however we want. This feels much better. Many custom keyboards take this one step further and align each column of keys to match the different lengths of your fingers. Things are looking good. There's just one more improvement to be made. Time for another hand exercise. Hang your arm down at your side. Now bend your elbow at a 90 degree angle without moving your wrist. Your hand's natural position is not palm down. It's rotated as if ready for a handshake. To make our keyboard truly comfortable, let's add something called a tenting kit. This will angle your keyboard to match the natural position of your wrists. Look at this thing! It might look like the controls to an alien spaceship, but boy, is it comfortable to type on. Now let's put all this together. Just look at the difference between typing on a traditional keyboard versus a keyboard actually designed for humans. Just look at how much awkward, repetitive motion you have to go through with that crusty old keyboard on your desk. All that unnecessary movement causes fatigue, slows your typing down, and can cause repetitive stress injuries like carpal tunnel to flare up. It's time you gave your wrists a little love. Having a keyboard actually designed for human hands will reduce fatigue, increase proficiency, and guard against carpal tunnel flare-ups. So whether you're a gamer, an author, 
an engineer, or a coder, you deserve something better, something designed just for you.